everybody. It's day 13 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. I will show you a sketch. It's by Brandy Jo. Um, it looks like it's Scrappy Boy Mama. Maybe Scrappy Dot Boy Mama. Um, she has three pictures. They're square pictures. I don't think mine are going to end up being square. Uh, then she has, I'm going to call it three pattern papers on a maybe a cardstock background. Now she's cut hers in a diagonal. I don't know if I'm going to do that because it's going to be a little bit, that's geometric and to me a little bit, um, well, I don't want to call it masculine. It's not that geometric's masculine, but it kind of feels more masculine to me. Almost maybe because it's the Charlie Brown looking thing. I don't really know, but um, it's diagonals here. She's kind of cut into the papers and then there's mixed media. Um, not really showing a lot of embellishment clusters unless you want to well, I don't know if you can really call the mixed media the embellishment clusters, but then, then there's this long title. So it's actually one of those you can kind of add clusters wherever you want to, that kind of thing. So what I have are these three pictures of my daughter. She uh, sent them to me from this past weekend. Every time she looks pretty, they she wants to do a little photo shoot. I think it's just a holdover from her model days, but it works well for me because I end up with scrappable pictures like every time. Um, and I'm going to have to trim these a little because, you know, for it to fit three in the on the page, I'll have to trim these just a little. And I can bring it down some, because obviously I don't need that much dead space. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna be square. It's gonna be a little bit taller than square. And then what I was doing, y'all, I went through all my current collections. I was over there and I'm like, okay, I wanna use up either a scrap room or a hip kit or something. And I couldn't find anything in the right color palette. And my apologies, the cat is right in my lighting here. But what I ended up going into was my Bow Bunny stash over there which kind of hurts my feelings because I like to do the Bow Buddy stash bash, but on the other hand, I'm like, Christine, you got all this paper, you might as well use it. And I found this Be Beautiful You from 2018, and it had these purples in it, which is just perfect. Um, this is a sticker sheet. I got two of those some kind of way. I still have Noteworthy, which has a lot of foils and stuff. I'll have to get in that and see what I have left there. And then these are the papers. Oh, that's a cut apart, technically. Um, but then there's a yellow on the back. I do still have some, you know, I've cut these apart obviously at one point. Look at that big old B. That's a big old B. Some of the scraps here. But I do also really like this, uh, where is it? This page here. This is a double dot, this blue, because I thought it, it's kind of a bluey purpley, but it looked really pretty with this color here. So I'm happy with that. And then there's like, this is like little jewels. Just a simple little pattern here on the double dot. I won't probably use that one, I don't think. But then there's, like I said, these little jewels with some little flowers here. I may use these. And then on the back side, of course, is a really bright yellow. But the blue and the, or the yellow and the purple are very complimentary, so I think that's really pretty. And then I still have a neutral color here um, with little bees. So I have things to work with, I guess, is the point. Enough so that this makes some sense. So, oh, and chipboard. Oh, sorry, y'all. Look at all this chipboard. It's gold foiling. How pretty is that? Look at that. Can you see the shine? Ooh. So that's kind of pretty. Um, there's these little chipboard words in here with a big frame. I don't know that I'll use any of those. This Love Yourself, that might be the title if I don't pull out something out of my stash. But that is what I'm starting with. So let me trim the pictures. I need to figure out which, uh, if I'm kind of going for my paper layers here. I really kind of like this jewel, but then I need an offset. So I don't know yet which of the ones I'm gonna use. I'll figure that out, and I'll come back on in just a second when I'm tearing that up and making that work. All right, talk soon. All right, gang, so um, I have trimmed the blue paper there with the, I took the branding strip off. Um, I have already trimmed my pictures, and you'll see in a minute, I probably should have taken them in a little bit more narrow, but they're, they're trimmed up too. And then now I've got my three pieces of pattern paper here that I'm just organizing and making the right width. I, you don't need them to go all the way across, obviously, because they're covered. I might even should have made them a little bit narrower. But on the other hand, I'm thinking I need to use this paper. So I'm not even sure why I trimmed it up too much, except I didn't really want a ton of bulk in there either. So I'm going to start tearing these. I might should have let them go just a little bit more, mm, what's the word, random on the tear. I, I kept the tears pretty straight. And looking at the sketch, I might actually let them be a little bit more kind of rougher tears to kind of go along with that, that little diagonal kind of concept. But I did not, they're a little bit straight here. And so I've just glued them. I got them all attached and everything. And I'm going to start kind of looking at them and I'm going to see where my picture's going. I'm thinking at the moment, I'm thinking, oh, okay, yeah, I've trimmed those narrow enough. I have some space. Now there's not a ton of space, but I have some space. And then I'm thinking, well, do I have enough if I've mad them? 
And yet again, I'm still looking at these going, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. And again, I, I you'll see in a minute, I'm going to end up having to make a little trick with these things to, to make them fit right. But I'm looking at the dark and the light colored mats. I don't really like that real dark one. So I end up with this purple, actually. I'll do this purple with the, the cream background. So then I'm deciding, okay, what else do I think I might want? I'm looking at the stickers. I don't know why I'm doing this quite yet because I will pull out the mixed media next. But I'm kind of looking at these and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what sticker or title or whatever do I want? So I ended up deciding, yep, the purple is going to be the second mat. So I'm going to double matting the pictures, basically. A single uh, double mat is going to be that purple and that cream. And I'm like, okay, I like those. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down and start matting them. And again, I'm thinking I've got them narrow enough, but after I do this, I'll realize, uh, no, not really quite, Christine. <laughs> so again, I'll have a solution for it. It's no big deal. I've said this before, no problem, right? So I'm going to put these down. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me mat them, but that's where I'm starting. So I've got those matted, but I got to go do the, the mixed media, right? So I pulled the white out. I thought the white would look really pretty. I thought, okay, this will show up on my blue and, and it'll, it'll, you know, be visible, Honestly, I can see it on the blue easily. I mean, that's obviously, you know, right there. But on the other little paper with the little jewels, the little, um, I don't know what color that is. It's a shade of that blue, but it's like jewels are kind of printed on there. It's really hard to see. So I'm going to end up having to add embellishment clusters just because my mixed media doesn't show up real good. <laughs> um, I mean, it's pretty. You can see it kind of, but not great. Um, I will take my little wand here and add big splops, which are kind of on the sketch anyway. So, and I do like how this looks. I think this looks really pretty. So I'm going to bring that white over. And then after that, I'm going to start, I actually, I think I do let it dry. I don't think I let it dry too much. I probably should have because I did end up getting it on my hands and the mat and all that kind of stuff. But um, in a moment, I'm going to take my ATG gun. I'm going to put some glue behind the photos and then I'm going to put them in a row, uh, but they're they're going to have to take that. I'm going to take the center photo and put it up on foam because it's just not going to fit. I thought it might, and I laid it all down there. I thought dry fitted it properly, but I didn't. And it's just, it's going to, if I try to put all three directly in a row, there's no way that's going to work. So I'm going to end up putting the middle one up on foam and kind of uh, wonk at it just a tad so that it uh, it looks like it's intentional. Well, I mean, it is intentional, but I mean, not per the sketch, I guess is my point. So let me see next, uh, and I'm going to pull out the ephemera and the chipboard too. So I, I really do kind of go, I hate to say this, but I go a little bit rogue on this. I mean, it's, it's still inspired by, so it's okay, but I didn't, I didn't intend to when I very first started to have to go so far off rogue or whatever, but just the way things happened, you know, the creative process. And then somehow I got stuffed the ink on, see what I meant about, I, got, I didn't let it dry. So I got a little bit of that ink on the front of that picture and I had to wipe it off. All right. So that's what we got right there. And I'm going to pull out my ephemera in a second and kind of sort it, and you'll see. And I decide upon some florals. There's a couple of florals in there I pull out. And then also the little diamond, the little jewels that are like little tiny ephemera. I shouldn't say tiny. It's kind of, it's small. But I thought that was kind of neat because it's, you know, offset to the, the pattern paper with little jewels on it. This is a neat little collection. It had little jewels and it had like bees. And I think something in there said something like queen bee and things like that. It's just a really pretty collection. I remember enjoying this quite a bit. I used, I had actually used quite a bit of it. Some of my collections over there from my stash are still quite full, and I don't know if it's because I just bought double or what. Um, this one, I really didn't have just a ton. There's some left. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be able to use it, uh, but there's not tons and tons of papers like some of my other ones. There's not like doubles of everything, <laughs> um, but I don't think I'd even gotten into the chipboard on this one, and it's, it's kind of pretty, but here's where I'm kind of playing with, playing with these florals here and, and trying to figure out what I want to do. I do like the ones on the right now. That bigger floral, I took it out. I thought that was a little too much. And then I take that little piece there, but it's got a hole in the middle, right? It's got a little, little see-through hole. So I find a little round jewel on the chipboard here. It looks, it's a green one. I'm going to stick that. I kind of contemplate the colors, but I ended up with this green in the middle and I think, well, okay, that's kind of pretty. And it offers a different dimension and a little bit different texture. So I like it. And I'm going to come in here in a second, glue all that down, and then we'll come back on. So what I've done is I've glued everything down, and then I did decide those little jewels at the bottom. I added foam to the back of them just to give them a little height. Um, the, the title is that gorgeous, and it's a chipboard piece. And I thought, well, if I had that too flat, it, it just looked like too much of a transition. So I decided to put uh, foam behind it. And then I have this piece here. I didn't even mention it, but it's, it's a little arrow, and it says ravishing with the little stripes on it. And I had it at the bottom originally, but I ended up moving it up to the top next to the flower. 
uh, because I felt like putting it at the bottom of that photo was kind of creating another cluster type deal or like another set, something else my eye to look at, and I didn't like that too much. So I move it up to the top. So now I basically have my little visual triangle. It's kind of where her big splotches were, uh, but I've definitely, like I said, deviated using the ephemera here, and my, my picture sizes are a little all different. I'm just going to add the date, February 2023, and that's all I'm going to do the layout, y'all. This actually went pretty quickly. Um, it didn't take me too long, even though I kind of deviated a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, thanks so much for watching. Sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little scatterbrained this morning. I don't know why. I don't think I slept too good. And it's uh, 4.30 in the morning, y'all. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Check out the playlist. There's tons of people playing along. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.